is never easy to take, even when you've known for months that it was going to happen, that it was inevitable. Well, that's the situation that people in the Bay Area find themselves in tonight with the death of Jerry Jensen. Cancer cut him down in the prime of his life and the peak of his career. Joyce Shank is here now to help us pay tribute. Joyce? Jerry Jensen's doctor said that he'd rarely seen a person accept his fate with such realism, and I might add dignity. Jerry Jensen, I had the pleasure of working with him for five years through funny stories, heavy stories, and I can't help but think even now that he's gone, that he'd want to smile because he had such a good life. Next, Jerry the Voice Jensen. Take off the glasses, Jerry. Says here you publicly boast membership on the best news team in town. Why not? What's wrong with that? That voice. That's him. And we all knew that voice, that face, that dry wit, that sheer pro in Jerry Jensen that enabled him to share with you the funny, as well as the tragic events that march their way through the news business every day. It's uh, hard to believe that he's not going to be coming walking into this newsroom again. Jerry sat here day in and day out. But behind his on-air, behind the anchor desk eloquence, was the Jerry who must have gone through hundreds of pounds of newswire in his 15 years here. He got used to the clamoring telephones, the police radios, the hectic pace of breaking stories, but he never cultivated cynicism. He always, and he'd probably smile at me for being so corny, but he always saw the bright side. But he always looked at me like I was putting him on, and he had a great way of looking at me to make me feel a little bit foolish when I was trying to be serious. And I think that was the quality that came through. He could make you be yourself, and uh, even when I was trying to be a big shot. He had the ability to look at a story, read down three or four paragraphs into it, and say, this is what this story is about. Today at 6 o'clock, Jerry Jensen's name was on the wire copy he'd ripped and read so many times. The newsroom was numbed and gathered around the TV set. Memorial services will be private, but there is a scholarship fund. We all knew for quite some time that he was sick, but, uh, and we expected this to happen. Of course, Jerry gave us that, uh, that letter. But when it happens, it somehow, it doesn't seem real until you, you hit the word. And Jerry Jensen managed to survive and thrive in a tough business. He climbed to the top in his profession, and he never left the top. And he never forgot the little guy, the regular folks to whom he was truly dedicated. Well, I like the way he presented himself in the news, and uh, uh, I like the way he looked. I thought he looked like a good, healthy fellow. I was really shocked when he died, you know. I thought, you know, when I found out uh, he said he had uh, cancer of the pancreas, pancreas, I was a real shock. I felt bad. Many people will miss Jerry, but at least we got to know him.